How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Siren's Call. Siren's so, Call! Last time, we were doing the finishing touch, and we got through two more of the, uh, these two. So now we are on step one through four. I'm not sure how long these are, so depending on their length, this might be caught up into one or two episodes. We'll see. Oh yeah. boy, oh boy. Violet is small in that <laughs> thumbnail. May 4th. May the 4th be with you. The girlies. A shrill, piercing bell signals the approach of the lunch of the lunchtime for seniors. <laughs> Violet skips out of the clinic into the crowded hall. <laughs> Judy <seconds> is <laughs> giant. <laughs> <laughs> she seconds away. Yeah, Judy's tall. She seconds away from snapping on her helmet before seeing a familiar face. Hey there, Prudy. What's cracking? Don't talk to me. If you ever call me that again. <laughs> Judy's heels click aggressively against the linoleum of the hallway. She brings her right foot up just enough to pivot around and address the voice behind her. She pivots her leg just so she can karate kick her in the face. Oh dear, Violet, the clinic? You must have stumbled face first, uh, face first, face face first into an oyster bed, you poor thing. Lucky that they stitched you up just in time for lunch, huh? Oh, we're doing this now? <laughs> Super lucky. You want to trade luck with me for a year or two by any chance? Or actually, let's just trade brains. Come on, you'll have tons of fun, I promise. Hmm, no thanks. I'm not a fan of taking things that aren't mine. I'd be more happy to take you to the cafeteria, though, if you'd like. Oh, no. something back behind me just fell. <laughs> I get to eat with royalty? Hot damn, today really is my lucky day. And don't, uh, don't you forget <laughs> it. Ashton shows up, so fuck nuts. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Oh. Oh. Hmm. What the fuck? Step one. <laughs> Identify the fucking problem. I don't know what the a problem is. A big red is, circle but goes around the mom. <laughs> it's like ding ding ding. Wait. Oh, these are really short. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, should we have just done all that I'm in the scared. last episode then? <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> what does this mean? I'm the problem. <laughs> Judith makes her way into Miss Lawrence's office. Listen here, Miss Lawrence. I'm taller than you and could absolutely crush you in a battle. <laughs> so, fuck off. Hi. Take a seat, Judith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna disregard what you said to me a moment ago. I'm gonna pretend you didn't just sound like you were the shit. Look, I have some errands to run for the student council. Wait, wow, my Judith. bad. <laughs> I'm taking over your spot as student council <laughs> president. What do you even do? What do you even do? <laughs> so, whatever this is, can we please try and make it quick? No. <laughs> That's funny. The speed at which we get things done depends entirely on you. Judith sits down on the counter and crosses her legs. She falls through the floor. Last I checked, you weren't part of the disciplinary <laughs> staff. Things change. I am now. <laughs> and as a speech therapist, you lack jurisdiction to summon me elsewhere. Anywhere. <laughs> you understand that, right? Listen, I'm not here to talk with you as a public servant, Judith. Oh? I'm here to talk to you as your worst nightmare. <laughs> and as your emperor. So what's this about, then? Did I do something wrong, Miss Lawrence? Very. <laughs> you were born. <laughs> There's just one little thing I need to confirm real quick. Regarding what, exactly? Regarding that little adventure you went on with Ashton last Sunday. I haven't the faintest idea what you're referring to. Is this regarding the, you know, being in the school after hours? <laughs> so I heard you were in school after hours, <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, that's penalized by death, so... <laughs> Ms. Lawrence spins the laptop on her desk towards Judith, shows her the screen by slamming it into her head. On oh, that yeah. screen is footage of Ashton body slamming an easel in the arm. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> it is. Was okay. That. What Judith the fuck? Judith watches pla <laughs> placidly in the corner. I thought the school's cameras were broken. The old ones are. I just had them put in. My eyes aren't, though. Doesn't mean that there aren't temporary systems in place to keep track of our students until one of those gets fixed. There are plenty of staff here that care deeply about our s your safety, not mine. <laughs> Myself included. Why didn't I know about this then? We have the right to keep some things private, Andy put down your arm, <laughs> if I if it means protecting our students. Students like you. So, mind explaining what's happening here? No. <laughs> what? Ashton attacking some old art supplies counts as an adventure now? Yes. If this is about destruction of school property, I can just buy a new easel. I can actually buy a new school. <laughs> I don't mind paying for his mistake. He is my friend, after all. 
Um, no. Did you order Ash to destroy school property, Ju Judith? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Be honest, because I already know the answer. No. Maybe. Judith scans her accused of face for any hint of deception. When did you talk with him? I never did. <laughs> Last night. Please just answer my question. Oops. Yes. It was more of a joke than anything, though. I didn't think he would actually do it. As Lawrence pinches the bridge of her nose and sighs. Fuck! <laughs> do you realize the kind of power that you actually have over people? I'm sorry? You're a very talented person, Miss Helvig. But nobody gets to where you're at on your- uh, at on talent alone. <laughs> you're president of the student council because you follow students. Your follow- <laughs> Your fellow students have voted for you. Because Why am I having such you. a hard time reading from back here? <laughs> and you'll be valedictorian <laughs> because even though you're se <laughs> even though you're seven, even though you're seven years old, you're a damn smart seven-year-old. So fuck up. Other people in the school that have had your <laughs> exact same GPA, <laughs> you're the one with the most charm. Don't know how that happened, but what you fucking do? Charm is hardly a factor. It's not true. Just look at it, Meal. He sucks. What about him? He's had a 4.0 GPA Bro. since first grade. And somehow, he's never been allowed the same extracurricular op opportunities as you despite all his hard work. It's because it's a meal. Yeah, it's because a meal is goaded. I work plenty hard too, thank you very much. I'm not saying you don't. Not according to Ashton. I'm just saying you're not good enough. But that's not why people listen to you. That's not why Ashton destroyed that easel for you without even questioning it. Ashton is responsible for his own actions. No. And so are you. You have power over people, Judith. Bower. Bower. But you're acting like you don't and it concerns me. Either you aren't aware that most people will gladly throw themselves in front of a train for you. <laughs> Oliver, I won't. <laughs> or you're completely aware and just don't give a shit. Did you just say the shit word? I care about my friends more than you can even begin to fathom. You don't even have friends. <laughs> yeah, you're a lonely oh. wench. <laughs> <laughs> because despite your sister's amazing scholarship opportunities and Emil's ob obvious genius, neither of them are choosing to go to college. Ever wonder why that is? Pretty sus. Maybe because college is a giant scam? So true. <laughs> scam or not, you need a degree if you're going to work at NASA. Bro. I... No, I'm just gonna walk in. <laughs> I have a plan for that, don't worry. A plan? Does that plan involve my future son-in-law, by any chance? I'm gonna use him. Judas left eye twitching. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say to me? You know, there are steps every mother can take to protect their kids from predatory behavior. And I'll do whatever it takes, whatever I need to <laughs> make sure my kids are safe. <laughs> by ending you. Is is that a threat? Not at all, a promise. I just hope whatever that plan of yours is ends up... Whatever that plan of yours is ends up being based in reality. <laughs> because Violet and Oliver are leaving Siren's Call in three months, Judith. No. And if Andy or Emil or Ashton feel like they want to leave too, then they have the power to do that. No, I'm going to use my power to keep them here. <laughs> they don't need your permission. You know, slowly gets up on the couch, keeping eye contact with Miss Lawrence the entire time, and then slams her through the window. Whoa. Here's a- oh wait. Here's a fun idea. Why don't you fuck <laughs> off? And she pulls out a knife. Why don't you die? Why don't you die? Why don't Whoa. you- Whoa! <laughs> Damn. Okay! Right, Why don't you mind your own fucking business? Judith turns on a dime and starts towards the door. That's when Miss Lawrence pulls out the strap. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, we won't have any of that. <laughs> Nobody's gonna talk to you that way. And reality check, you're nobody's mother. Oof. Ooh. So stop acting like it. The smile made that. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you fucking die? Confirm your suspicions. Judas acting really sus. Okay, oh, I really need to get my before. reading eyes on because I'm struggling fucking hard <laughs> back here. I don't know why. Dun -dun -dun. May 7th, same day. Judas sits at our desk and looks over the list in front of her. For the past two days, she's been officially and thoroughly cutting through it. A column of check marks consistently peppering the left margin. 
I just started thinking of doing this freaking southern accent. <laughs> most of the most tasks, of tasks, I guess, were enough. fucking simple enough. <laughs> <laughs> so she's been making an effort since Thursday to do as many of them by herself as humanly possible. All that's left is going to town and gathering the required materials for graduation itself. She's fucking graduating. What she didn't know is that she isn't graduating. You know why? Because I took the graduation and I pushed it off a cliff. She sits up and reaches towards the ceiling to strangle Miss Lawrence. But she wasn't there. After three hours being hunched, of being hunched over, doing paperwork and making calls, the cords and her, a muscle in her arms and back are unusually stiff. Oh no, it's, it's spreading. <laughs> Need a massage, my queen? I do. Who the fuck? <laughs> No, I don't want to bother you. It's okay. It's not like I'm doing anything important. I literally never am. And he leaps up gleefully from her seat, said face plants. She walks over and begins rubbing the sore part of her sister's back. He aggressively shakes her head back and forth and explodes. Please don't. And he says, move sheepishly away from Judith's body and then form a fist. The pain is an important part of this. Oh, I can help with that. What? You aren't always going to be there to rub my back whenever it gets sore, so I need a good reason to make it stronger. By becoming a shrimp? Yes. <laughs> it's not like you have any back problems after all. Well, yeah. I have good posture. After the twins moved in, it was adapt or die. But, you know, it ain't all sunshine and rainbows looking like this. Shut up, you're still gorgeous. <laughs> and you're still ugly. <laughs> And I should have started exercising with you after middle school. Wait, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I should have followed your lead. You're too pretty for that. Honestly, it was kind of dumb for me to offer in the first place. I knew you weren't going to exercise ever. <laughs> no, it was the smart thing to do. It was very, very smart. And kind. So I should have done it. Well, you were busy. Everybody's busy, that's no excuse. Okay, seriously, what happened, sis? I get that graduation's coming up and you've got shit to do, but you've been acting really, really off lately. And it's starting to freak me out. Tuna feels something heavy on her eyes. Oh. Comes her hands over her face and slams into the floor <laughs> of the wall. Muffled sob escapes from under the fabric of her pillow. Why aren't you going to college? Because I don't need to. You could basically go anywhere you want for free, so why aren't you? Am I holding you back? Be honest, am I holding you back? Very. Yeah. Don't be stupid. There's not a force on Earth strong enough to keep me down. A weird aggressive feeling spins around in Judas' gut. Why are you talking to me like that? I'm not some stranger in the locker room at school. I'm your sister. I'm proud of what you built, but you can't go back to being the person I grew up with for just five seconds? No. Because... I just want to know why. I need to know why you're staying here when you could fucking leave <laughs> my life. <laughs> Go anywhere you want. Is it... Is it me? Is it my fault? Annie just stares at her sister for a second like she said something stupid. <laughs> After a bit, she shuffles over to the bed and sits down next to her. She wraps her arms around Judith's back and pulls her in gently. It's not just you, okay? Yeah, I want to make sure my little sister is safe, but the truth is, you're family. Even if I move to, like, India or something, I'm always going to be grateful there for you. Wait, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I'm always going to be there for you. Where did I get grateful <laughs> from? <sighs> okay, anyway. I'm always going to come home. Daddy's home. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Siren's Call is my home, Judith. No, it's actually on lease, and we're <laughs> your lease is up. Oh no, Go. it actually belongs to me. <laughs> I signed that lease last I checked. So get the <laughs> fuck out of my house. <laughs> and there's other people that I love who live here, so I have everything I could ever want, <laughs> including that cowboy in the corner over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't want to leave yet. It's not just you. But it's you. I promise. I promise. I promise. Judith hugs her sister back and then slaps her, but lets her eyes drift towards the open window. We all need them to leave home. What the fuck? Yeah, y'all gotta leave. We all need to leave home eventually. <laughs> sure. But we deserve some time off after 12 grades of bullshit, right? We'll figure something out. No. <laughs> um, I'm <Okay>. sorry. <laughs> no? 
No, we won't. You're right. Siren Skull is our home. But that's only because we already have everything we could ever want on this little island of ours. There's nothing left for us to figure out because everything is already perfect for us. And I don't know how you could feel bad. How you could feel about that. <laughs> how you feel about anything. <laughs> Yuna swallows nervously. Gulp. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want that to change. Judith. What the fuck? <laughs> I need to get out of here. <laughs> this, is probably, this is supposed to be like a really heartfelt moment. And I'm just sitting here with this. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just sitting here with this expression. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Like cracking stupid jokes. We we are the viewers. Oh, we're, we're actually not. We're the commentators. <laughs> Pizza no. And there um, goes the dog. Oh my goodness. But Every no, time, bro. I Every I feel time. I just feel bad because my reading comprehension skills are in the toilet right now for some reason. So <laughs> every too. time I try to read, it's Definitely like not helping. No, I'm like. Ah. I need to get out of here. Please don't follow me. I need to be alone right now. Oh. Grabs her keys off the desk and rushes out of the room. Damn, she's. Zoomed. As she does. Emil and Ashton walked into the house. They just walked in. Good afternoon, Judith. Hello. Why What's are you in my house? Came a couple minutes early. I hope that's okay. You burned my house to the ground. <laughs> Errands are canceled, boys. All right, I guess we're leaving. Do whatever you like on day off. So you uh, don't need our help? Nope. I can do it myself. I just... Don't want to ruin your Saturday. Well, it's already ruined because we got called out here. All right, listen here. Pardon? Hubby, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> There's sweet tea and cookies in the fridge. You guys have fun, all right? No. Please, just have fun. How is how's anybody supposed to have fun when you ask like that? I know, right? Judith throws herself out the window. We're having fun. The aggressive hum of her van's motor shatters the stack of air and then she crashes the car. <laughs> Her family stands there and listens as she drives away. The violence of her actions is fading from their eyes and ears like smoke. Okay. But ultimately, nobody says a god... Nobody says a goddamn thing. <laughs> Who keeps unlocking you? <laughs> Judith cradles two massive spools of fabric under her arms and walks towards the van. The vans? But in the end, it's random slickness of the fabric itself that ultimately causes one of them to escape her grasp. Several people on the sidewalk jump in in shock. It's kind of something so heavy hitting the concrete. Even so, they all quickly resume their walking. Mm -hmm. Judith resists the urge to scream and suddenly pops open the back of what pops open the back of the fucking van. She shoves the taller spool through a gap in the trunk and into the front seat before lifelessly changing chasing after the other one. I knew he was gonna show up here. Oh, <laughs> she sees mom is here. Distance. Try again, as all of her shirt says. Oh, oh, just made sure he saw us. <laughs> but Judith doesn't say anything. Without her voice, she's fairly weak. Just another pretty face and an ever-going sea of wonderful people and terrible people. And so absolutely nothing happens. The rest of the day is plain and uneventful. Thank you for playing Tyrant's Call. Have a nice life. <laughs> step Create three. Stop playing. <laughs> Success. So what's the final step going to be? I'm so curious. This is about to be the shortest episode of Siren's Call ever. Yeah, we've been going for about 20, 25 minutes That's without true. the gap. Oh, yeah, that's true. I learned something early on when I became a speech therapist. The entire point of language is to manipulate and change the world around you. Not in an evil way, of course. Unless you want to. <laughs> because at the end of the day, language is life itself. When you want something to actually change, the most efficient way to make that happen is to just say something. Like, fuck you. Like, fuck you. That evokes a lot of strong emotions. <laughs> And when you want to say the same, you just shut your mouth and let it happen. It seems so obvious, of course, maybe even a tad mundane. But it's why babies learn to call out for their parents so quickly. After all, a good parent is supposed to provide, to give you life. And so, even a wordless, toothless child slowly begins to master, master the art of asking. Because asking for food and water and such means survival. <laughs> if you don't, you don't live. And every child de deserves a chance to live. Everybody deserves a chance to communicate. So when Oliver started speaking more, when he started self-advocating and fighting back against his real parents, in a way, it felt like I had saved someone's life. Well. 
Maybe that was vain of me. But if language really is that powerful, if language is life... then silence is pretty damn close to death itself, isn't it? That was pretty deep, Miss Lawrence. Hmm. Things are just fine the way they are. I should do nothing. I also notice that it says May 12th, the end. Oh, wow, you're right. <clears throat> I don't want this to change. Those are the kinds of things that silence really says. Which is why when I saw my daughter put on her graduation cap this afternoon instead of her helmet... Oh, this oh. is after her death. I said absolutely nothing. Why the hell should be the... Fucking balls! Why the hell should she be the only one who doesn't get to wear a cap and gown? Why should Violet be forced to miss out after having worked so hard? But change happens whether we like it or not. In the end, no matter how powerful language is, it can't control everything. In the end, silence always wins. Damn. Silence takes everything from us. The shaking hands, Miss Lawrence begins pouring herself a glass of water. She drinks it down, if only to erase the dryness in her mouth, and collapses into a nearby chair. <laughs> oh, damn. Why are you she rushing in, in here? <clears throat> I... Judith falls on the floor in front of Violet's mouth. Is she going to apologize? Uh, probably. She prostrates herself on the carpet before collapsing into a sobbing, fetal mess at Miss Lawrence's feet. Please tell me what to do. What? <laughs> there was a thousand things I could have done to make graduation a safe place for her, but all I saw was... was... I loved her so much, Judy. I promise you I loved her so much. Wait, what? I loved her so much, Judy? Is she talking to herself? Oh, wait, what the hell? I'm trying to make sure I didn't read that wrong. Judy... Oh, yeah. Isn't... Isn't her full name Judy Lawrence? Oh, is it? I think so. Judy Louise Lawrence, I think, was her full name. So, her first her first name is Judy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Or that Judy, makes way more sense. Judith. All right, I gotcha. She was my friend. She meant the world to me. Even if it meant being alone, I wanted her to be happy. I promise. I wanted everyone to be happy. I wanted to help her. I wanted to protect your daughter. I can't imagine what you're feeling right now, but just tell me what to do and I'll do it. I'll dive off a bridge into the oyster bed. I'll throw myself into a trash compactor with a smile on my face. I'll... Stop talking. <laughs> damn. Huh? Another dead kid isn't going to fix a damn thing. Besides, you were right. I'm nobody's mother. I just really wanted to be. But we all want things. Wait, some... This was probably already explained, and I just completely forgot. Is Miss Lawrence not her, is not Violet's real mom? I don't think so. Is she like an adoptive mom, or? I, I think so, maybe? So congrats, you win. You get what you want, and I don't. What the fuck, how do I <laughs> You get what you want, and I don't. Enjoy yourself, live your life. Uh, enjoy yourself, have fun, live your life. Ouch. There, I've told you what to do. Now get the fuck out of my house. Damn. That was harsh. I know. But understandably angry. Yikes. Hope for the best. So true. Oh, wait, are we really just gonna end it off here? Oh, uh brother. What the fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> Damn, fuck? that's kind of a somber note to leave off on. Ouch. Damn. That, uh, definitely hurts. But with that, we have officially finished all of the finishing touches. How many, how, what's the percentage we have now? Uh, I think we still have a little bit left, but I was having so much freaking trouble getting these extra scenes. <laughs> yeah, only 78. Damn it, what are we missing? Still this one. I'm not sure if we did all these or not. So we just have that one thing? Yeah, just this one. But like, I don't... I know they said you're supposed to lie when you're saying you visited Judith when talking to Annie, I'm pretty sure. 
Hmm. Or maybe it was the opposite. Maybe it was Andy. But regardless, we've gone through this so many times. It makes me confused as to what we're supposed to do. Hmm. All right, here we go. So last time, I think we said, yeah, we, I've seen her. So pretty sure <clears> we're <throat> supposed to say no, not yet, even though we have. Um, where's my name? Uh, you're not here, actually. <laughs> well, I know what we are doing then. And he grabs my arm and yanks me off the table. You smell like crap, but we can always wash up in the pool when you get home. I'm sure my sister will be thrilled to see you. Let's go, Captain. Okay. Two more now to fight back, so I do as I'm told and follow back Andy back to her house. I swear we did this already. Maybe back to Judas. <clears throat> Maybe this is different? I, I mean, I feel like that's definitely different. I, at least I thought it was. Hmm. Hey there, sexy. Guess who's home? Uh, okay, yeah, this is definitely different. Andy slams herself into the door as she tries to move through it. Who put this fucking door here? <laughs> what the heck? Why is it locked? She jiggles the handle and pushes her shoulder against the door a few times. Judy, it's Andy. Why'd you lock the door? Some weird is going on here. Sis? I hear a small click from behind the door. J Judith? What is going on? And he rushes the side and disappears around the corner. Um, um. I don't see either of them as I enter the house. All I see is a journal laying open face on the open face on the coffee table. It's pretty stupid to lie to your friends, <gasps> Oliver. Ooh. Damn, that's interesting. Oh, we broke the game. Hello? But it's even dumber to lie to yourself. What? Oh. oh. Ooh. Creepy. Damn, Damn. So you immediately fail. Wow. Damn. We also need to go get those two extra scenes in the dorms. Oh, okay. So I'm going to grab those, too. Sweet. No new messages. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, it's just going to be the same. Cool. All right. Scene selection to the college dorm part thing. Damn, look, it gave us 1%. There we go. Lies. Interesting. Um, yeah, so we did these three that time. So I guess this is what happens when you choose to pick Violet instead. Ooh. I made arrangements for Violet and I to have tea together later in the evening. Not sure what else we could do other than drink, but I don't really feel like being, being alone right now. Hopefully this will be enough to keep her entertained. I guess the worst case scenario is that we could probably find something online and watch together. And doesn't that mean one of us will be stuck sitting at my desk? It's probably a bad idea. I mean, we just broke up. I'm gonna be overstepping some boundaries here. Open your door! <laughs> she did say yes to coming over though, so it's not like she hates me or anything. No, there's no way for me to know how she really feels right now. I'm not good at that anyway. Clearly, so speculating is worthless. All I gotta do is relax, trust the chemicals, and enjoy myself. Simple as that. Simple as that. Hello. Hi, I'm oh. really small. Wow. <laughs> that's... Well, that's nostalgic. Didn't that dress used to be less red, though? You look amazing. Oh, thank you. But more important, do I look mature? Sure. What do you mean? Well, we are in college now. Uh, I should try to look more mature when I go out. We're not going out anywhere. And I always used to dress up for tea parties and stuff, so I figured I'd dust off the old gown and swing on by. <coughs> Is it too much? Am I overdressed? Alright, so this is Violet's idea of mature. Cool. 
She's almost too adorable for words. It's about as well for my psyche. It's fine, it's fine. Just be normal, be platonic. Yeah, you look awesome! <laughs> You're already plenty mature enough. There's always room for improvement. It's like they say, an artist's work is never done. Until it is. Violet flicks the wrist in the air and says she's throwing confetti from a parade float. Shall we then? As she passes through the doorway, the hem of her dress brushes against my ankle. Ooh, I flip girl. out. <laughs> it's soft. Really soft. Looks much cleaner in here than it did this morning. Very nice. As Violet surveys my living quarters, I rush over to my desk and grab the room's sole college mandated swivel chair. Oh, Olive, that's no fun, right? What about you? Where are you gonna sit? I on the roof. Stand. One of us can sit on the bed. I could sit on the desk. <laughs> no, that won't do at all. I've got an idea. You heat up. Fuck. <laughs> you heat us up some tea, and I'll be right back. Violet kicks her heels off into the corner and shuffles out the door in her socks. I'm barely able to finish pouring her drinks before she stumbles back in. Her elegant form plastered with all manner of colorful blankets and pillows. So many of them that they begin falling off her, and so Violet dumps them all in a cozy looking pile in the center of the room. There we go. Whoa. My art style has changed. <laughs> we can just sit on the floor. Easy breezy. Violet drops to the ground and goes through the floor, begins sculpting the bedding into something more accommodating. Look, I was being mature. Why don't you just get a chair in the room? Maturity is a state of mind. I'm sure many grand historic conversations have begun with two people simply drinking on the floor together. Eschewing your pride like this is plenty mature, don't you think? Plus, with all these pillows, it has the bonus of being super comfortable, too. I don't know why I read it like that. <laughs> don't you want to be comfortable? I the wedges a few more pillows up against the bed before sinking into them completely, like a pearl cushioning itself in the flesh of an oyster. It's an inviting display, to be sure. Why are you still so far away? She knows what she's doing. This oh, is yeah. so funny. Come on, I'm thirsty. Let's drink. I need to go. <laughs> oh, gotta go. <laughs> I guess this is how it's gonna be, then. Not wanting to keep Violet waiting any longer, I lower myself into her cozy domain. But as I do, I notice something. I'm flipping out. <laughs> she looks fine! Her bedroom? Violet's old bedroom. Oh, wait. I didn't realize that was her. Careful now, it's still hot. Violet takes a braid and sip from her cup. Tips of her, The tip of her lips dousing her <laughs> It's amazing me on the watch room so confident. Oliver's right. actual brain right now, she's... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Practically everything Violet does, she does without a trace of shame or regret. It doesn't matter if it's painting on the beach or drinking hot tea in an ocean of blankets. I could watch her move forever. I could be here. Forever. But... Fuck. <laughs> By the way, sorry, I was acting so weird earlier today. You know, I'm normally not like this, but it feels a little strange now that the six of us are all friendly with each other again. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad everything ended up working out, but I kind of forgot how embarrassing they can be sometimes. That's probably just something I need to get reacquainted with, though. That and how we're all living in the same building now. I'm glad you're close by. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. About that. I'm actually leaving. <laughs> It's not exactly a coincidence that we ended up living next to each other. The administrative office gave me my choice of medical single, so I ended up picking the one next to you. Sorry I didn't tell you earlier. How could you? We've talked about this before, but there are risks that come with someone like me living on my own. If I have a seizure... Whoa. Oh, whoa. I didn't even get to see the fucking like, image of her change because I was reading the text. Yeah, it was really, really... Like, quick. Oh, man. I barely noticed it. I don't want some stranger coming into my bedroom and seeing me like that. If it's going to be anyone, then it needs to be you. You're the only one I can trust with my body when I'm like that, at least until I'm lucid. I know it seems selfish, but I feel so much safer whenever you're around. Violet looks my way, a foggy, somber look painting her eyes. I still want my own space, but I can't stand the thought of you not being there when I wake up. So living next to you is the best solution I could think of. So what, uh, you trying to get back together then? <laughs> Yo, you trying to kiss on the mouth? But if it's too much, all you gotta do is say so. After all, it's not like I wouldn't understand. Being there for you is never a burden. Oh, Oh, really now? It's not a burden? And why is that? Because I said so. Kiss her! Ooh! <laughs> We're going all in. I'm rubbing my <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go in. <laughs> 
How could you? We actually probably should have done that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Do you really think that will work? I feel like she'd say that regardless. Right. Because I love you. Do you even want it to work? For everything we've been through to just be solved with such a small trait gesture? Yeah. Doesn't that seem a bit too convenient? Is this all in his head? It might be. Oh. But... Oh, what the fuck? Is it that really you? easy for us to make up? <laughs> I don't you want to problems? Why do you want me? Why do you want a girlfriend? How is it any different back in high school? You're Are you okay with stagnating? What do you feel for me, love, love or obligation? obligation? Would you, you know? really have come Whoa. out here without me? Can you be alone? Are you capable of being alone? Do you actually feel responsible for my seizures? Can you move forward with anyone? Can you move forward with me? When did our sense of romance become so hopelessly entangled with death? There's nothing romantic Whoa. about killing yourself. Not when there's everyone else trying so hard to be alive. Ooh. Okay, that got really fucking dark because when we, we were hanging out with like Emil, Ashton, and Andy, this was no, nothing. No way, you hate the beach like too. <laughs> I get violent out of my room as quickly as possible. She's like, hey, what the fuck? Unsurprisingly, the knocking from under my bed stops as soon as she leaves. Now then. Try again tomorrow. Oh. It's last time we checked under the bed. It's fine, I have no problem being patient. After all, I got all the time I need. I got all the time in the world. That was weird. Sorry, Oliver number two. Finally, college. Yeah, it's still the same. <clears throat> you bet. <laughs> anyway. I'm letting go of me. <laughs> Get out of here. Gonna see you guys. I'm gonna have a great time. <laughs> We're having so much fun. We're going to the cafeteria. We're to the cafeteria. <laughs> and then we died. I sure hope Violet's ghost. All right, so we did the boys again. and we did Violet. Now we're doing Judith. All right, Judas, what kind of I'll whack like shit? This will be demented. <laughs> what kind of whack shit do you have for me? I invite Judith over to drink tea for a bit. Doubtful that we shouldn't need to have any sort of pretense for hanging out. Tea together is basically a tradition for us at this point. More than anything, though, I want to see if I can get her to freaking relax for a minute. Baking, party planning. Christ, even flower arrangement. She's always scheming up something to please the rest of us. It's the definition of neurotic. I don't think it's possible for a person that intends to suddenly start being hands off. She used to be so into science, but now it's almost like she has no life outside of spoiling us. Which is why someone else needs to go and spoil her for a change. I'm just the guy. Yeah, Pepper and Judith is the only the way guy. she'll be able to learn how to chill out. She's always been the one to try and sweeten me up, but now she's my guest. And I won't allow her to be stressed. Be stressed! As soon as she tries to make me tea, I'm gonna slap her. <laughs> I hope I know what I'm doing here. You don't. Hey there. I wasn't sure what kind of tea we were drinking, so I baked some brownies just to be safe. No! Oliver, you already failed. <laughs> they tend to go with pretty much everything, after all. Damn it! Damn it! Brownies? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> really? You cheeky little bitch. <laughs> Why didn't I see that coming? I'm not gonna let you hijack this, Judith. I'm gonna hijack you. Excuse me? We're gonna have the, the time to eat. <laughs> suffocating me! <laughs> we're not gonna have time to eat them? <laughs> Sorry, but I got wicked bad indigestion. We'll eat them up after I'm done pampering you. We're gonna say That's that. That's cringe. <laughs> Good one. Never say that again. That was disgusting. Pampering me? Right. That's richer than my dead uncle. Day, does he have any extra money? No, <laughs> he's dead. Judas goes past me and places the brownies on my desk. After grabbing a couple of plates of cutlery from my desk, she definitely slicing the brownies into neat little squares. And then stabs me. Let me do it. Come now. Come now. <laughs> Like I would allow you to pamper me in any respect. Judith, I swear to Christ. You're my guest tonight, and... I'm your guest! As her hand... As Wait, her hand sprees Miss Slice, I close the door behind me for a dramatic effect. Or a golden skin. I see. The old reverse vampire technique. A classic. Judith turns my way and puts her hands on her hips. Alright. So I'm your guest tonight? This is my room. Is that important to you for some reason? Very. I move closer to Judith, hoping my next words will leave the desired impact. I do my best imitation of a butler and bow accordingly me to my mistress. For the next two hours, my only purpose is to serve you. <laughs> I throw it at Lady Judith at the end there for some reason. 
A brainless, primal part of me bows down even lower after I say that. Maybe it's fitting for a butler to do something this submissive. Maybe it's just the first of many reflexive attempts at hiding my embarrassment. I fight the urge to lift my head and see Judith's reaction. A butler shouldn't act until spoken to, after all. Oh, wow. That's quite a lot to process, isn't it? It's late by curiosity. I can no longer resist my desire to look at Judith. Is that... no way. Is she sweating? Could... do you mind giving me a minute? I need to strategize. No. I mean, I need to think some things over. Let me have this. Well, please take your time, mistress. <laughs> Jeez, you're really committing to this, aren't you? Wait, fuck, I, did, I just added two words. That's, well, that sure is something. Judith runs over to my bed, hops on, and begins hugging one of my larger pillows. For a couple of minutes, she kind of stares out into space, her mouth slightly agape. A fly went in. <laughs> I don't move from my position. <laughs> yes, tonight I'm nothing more than a sentinel for her desires. Whoa. Okay. Anything I want, huh? Anything. That's really... You could get yourself into trouble making commitments like that. Violet comes in. What, what the Oliver? What fuck is going on? What, what exactly kind of commitments is she talking about? <laughs> Judith looks down at her pointer finger and begins biting it. Ooh, girl! Ooh. Is this something you're really okay with? I am 100% okay with this, <laughs> says Oliver. Of course it is. My preferences are inconsequential, mistress. I can't believe that this is doing it for her right now. <laughs> this is funny. S stop calling me mit mit mistress. mistress. <laughs> it's, um... I commit even further to my role with that one. She should be enjoying this, right? I can't imagine why she wouldn't be. This is so... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. That's probably not true at all. She hates it. I look on her face. Is she overwhelmed? I placed a small universe at her feet and told her to go nuts. No structure or anything. Was that cruel of me? I should have made some recommendations, right? Maybe I asked if she wanted, to pour her some, wanted me to pour her some tea. Would it be unprofessional for me to do that now? Would she even care? Judith takes a deep, cleansing breath and turns her attention back to me. Okay. This is really happening then. Oh boy, what's your, uh... Ooh. What's your desire? You're giving me permission to take advantage of you. Oh <laughs> my goodness! I can't. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I am like. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I'm curious. What's stopping me from making you run down the hallway naked then? With Violet's your whole dick and me. balls out, bro. Violet is the thing that's stopping me. I know, for real. Or if I wanted you to eat an entire stick of butter by itself, you'd just. Do it? Yeah. Hey, yeah, bro. That will carry out your The butter with my mouth on it. <laughs> butter mouth. <laughs> I'm trusting Judith this isn't sadistic enough to make me do any of that stuff. Maybe some other stuff. But then again, she's never really given me this kind of freedom before, huh? I've never given that freedom before, ever, actually. Am I actually in danger here? No, my good friend. Very well. It seems as if your duty to... <laughs> Fuck off somewhere. <laughs> it's your duty yeah. to wait on me tonight. And it's my job as your guest to make use of you. Yeah. Jill places the pillow she's been hung back at the top of my bed and sets him straight. Now then, butler. Come, sit next to me. Cuddle time. Judith slides to the top time. edge of my bed. I do as I'm told to make my way to the other side. Uh, her side. The cheap springy bed frame buckles a little bit under her weight, but it's nothing to be concerned with. Great, great, good job. Turns into fucking, uh... Machima. Nightmare Judith? No, Makima from Chainsaw Man. Uh, I still haven't watched Chainsaw Man. Uh, I haven't either, but she... Just like, alright, good boy. Starts calling him, calling her freaking dog. <laughs> oh. Turns into that kind of person. She started out with something fairly simple, it seems. It's only gonna get worse. I think that perhaps the first month we knew each other. Physical proximity wasn't exactly a rare occurrence for us. Car rides turned to pool parties, turned to movie nights, turned to sleepovers. All my life, Judith has been itching closer and closer to me. As inevitable as entry. But this time is different, right? This time I'm completely subservient to her, and she knows it. Surely, this closeness is a prelude to something more insidious, right? Oliver? Okay, now next. Next, can you... Kiss me. I brace Ooh. myself for impact. Can you let me put my head in your lap, please? Oliver, no, this I'm supposed so to be doing that. cute, even though this right. is, like, not real. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm supposed to do that. She doesn't wait for any sort of approval before falling headfirst into my lap. Then why'd you ask me? Oh, it's just so <laughs> cute. And this is like... Eh? This is like wholesome, Judith. Instead it of being is. the this nightmare so fuel cute. that was the previous one. Yeah. She nuzzles the fabric on my jeans, her supple legs rubbing together like kindling. Damn it. I wish I was more tired. 
I'd love to fall asleep <laughs> like this. Oliver, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> You're warm. You're so warm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, I'm clammy and cold as fuck. She looks like a geyser of steam or perfect plump what? lips. What? <laughs> I feel this, like... Uh, this light pressure of her head on my lap. Wow. She has <laughs> always been kind of a princess, but now there's no question about it. Bro, I'm Novel kicking fuck. my feet right now. <laughs> She's royalty. Absolute royalty. Now I'm nullified. Oh my goodness, this is so embarrassing. Now run your fingers through my hair. <laughs> Violet just walks in. Um... What? <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel silly. Pet me. Pet me while I try and fall asleep in your lap. Ah, oh my I god. I do as I'm told. I lower my fingers into Judah's hair. <laughs> it's embarrassing. My hand starts shaking a little as I stroke her. Uh, I would be too. She mouths around my fingers, reacting to every movement they make, no matter how subtle. She lets out a silky, deliberate sigh. I was a sigh, silky. <laughs> I've thought about you doing this for longer than even I can remember. What, taking advantage of me? I love you so much, you know. Damn! It hurts so freaking much. So why didn't you ever do anything about it? Alright, something's about to be scary now. <laughs> why didn't you ever say anything about it? <gasps> I uh, knew it! And where's Miss Lawrence? And where's Miss Lawrence? She finally found out about that fucking whatever the fuck. Do you hate her now? Do you hate her the way you hate your parents? Are you too much of Violet or too much of me? Ooh. Oh, am I Violet's replacement? Am I the I'm safe, safe choice? choice? Am, Am I just, just your, your second, second choice? choice? Do you hate yourself for that? Not picking me first? Do you want to love her or do you want someone to leech off of? Dude, she looks scary. Is it Damn. really love that you feel right now? If it is, then why? Ooh! What the it's fuck? It's getting worse. Why are we never always with oh your feelings? Are you really my friend? friend? Girl, stop eating your finger! I'm biblical spirits. Win parasites. Whoa! Hi, my name is Judy. What's yours? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my room! <laughs> <laughs> you are not Judy! Was it worth it, Oliver? No. I guess you do this out of the room as quickly as possible. That is freaky. And then it stops. Now then, I guess I'll fuck off. All right. And with that disturbing scene, we're back here. Brain. The after story. Sorry, well, the after story is already brain. done. That was scary. But, uh, okay, I can't check my other stuff. I don't know how to get these some of these other gallery images. I mean, we have these ones now. Her old bedroom, different dress. Seeing a pull straight from your guilt-laden Shiva's dreams. Yeah, I still have a lot of these not unlocked. Oh, look at that, it's Andy. Hey. Judith, you saw me turning into the villain. Would you leave me the same way people skim over long poems? The perfect hostess. Actually, I don't have a meals. Oh, yeah. You're right. Oh, here's Violet. Whoa, evil Violet. Whoa! Judy. Cute. All right. Well, I'm not sure how to get those other gallery images. I guess you guys could probably tell us in the comments. But uh, this basically wraps up our Let's Play of Siren's Call. I'm so sad. Yeah, all in all... Very good. I Incredible game. Completely unexpected from what I thought was happening in the first couple episodes. It was mm -hmm. very different. Took a dark turn. Wow. But uh, yeah, the writing was really well done. Jacob, you are a legend for creating so such true. a phenomenal game and story. Already excited for whatever you're cooking up next. Yeah. And huge thanks to the Discord for also uh, telling us about this game. And yeah. Us giving it a shot. Super special shout out to Dorian, Ray, and Sam mm -hmm. for putting this game in front of our eyes. Yeah very much worth it wow yeah that was fantastic i really enjoyed it the yeah, storytelling it the drama the drama the drama was crazy that was insane like it felt like we were watching a soap opera mm -hmm. yeah as soon as it popped off with ashton first yeah I was like oh this is like very damn fun. yeah wow yeah. so siren's call amazing game if you guys haven't uh played this for yourself even though you've watched all the way to the end i still recommend downloading it maybe leave a like positive review. yeah go leave a little review download the game share it with your friends it's free yeah. capital f r e e you know increase those downloads on steam it'll definitely help yeah help an indie gamer and gamer? anybody else who indie likes visual novels creator. too definitely give tell them to give this one a shot yeah but yeah so that wraps up our let's play of siren's call i really hope you all enjoyed thank you guys so much for tuning in if you've gotten this far mm -hmm. and uh yeah as always 
if you all enjoyed and want to keep or not keep the series going, but rather uh, share I want to keep the series, the series going. <laughs> share support for the series, you know what to do. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully we'll catch you all in our Jacob's next series. Jacob's next game. <laughs> in the next series we decide to play. Yes. Have a good one.